Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today. I'm starting to get ready for the Jonas Brother concert. I just finished my brows. I'm letting the hair dry. And this is gonna be like any other get ready with me to an extent, but I'm so excited. Okay, I literally got my, <laughs> my tickets yesterday. So this is for the Philly show. It's on Thursday the 21st, that's today. I just was waiting till the last minute. I was trying to do it with the Yankee shows, didn't work out. When I went to the Broadway show, I wanna say I paid like $200 for the ticket and I, we had row four right on the floor, literally four rows from the stage. And the ticket prices for this tour have just been honestly ridiculous. And I'm noticing that's happening with a lot of artists. Like I saw Olivia Rodrigo, somebody shared on TikTok. Her tickets were like from five to $800. I just thought, okay, maybe if I wait till last minute, Wells Fargo or someone that's selling t these tickets will just like drop the price because they want to get rid of them. And Wells Fargo did actually release a couple of floor seats, but I was just being greedy and I'm like, no, I don't want to pay that price. I want to wait and see if they drop it like another $20 and maybe it'll be a better seat. I should have just bought the tickets the other day. I probably spent the same amount that I would have and I'm still on the floor. I'm in the first section. I'm just in the last row. So I'm a little disappointed. I don't like to be in the last row, but I am sounding spoiled. So let me just take back what I said. I don't know. I just, I like being, I like being close to the stage. I hope that I have a good view. I want to wear boots so it makes me taller. And I wore boots one time. I know I'm like jumping all over the place because I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I wore boots a couple years ago to either the Hershey or Camden show. And I remember I was so embarrassed because I'm 5'4", which is kind of like average, a little bit short. But these boots were making me like 5'7", 5'8". And I was just like taller than everyone around me. Like I felt like I stuck out so bad like a sore thumb. And it, I was so embarrassed <laughs> to the point that I literally considered taking my boots off and just standing i had socks on and just being barefoot so that i could be like blending in with everyone but i was like whatever i'm like i don't want people to step on my feet or like if in case there's any drinks spilled but now that i'm in like the last row of the section then i don't really care because then i think it starts going on the lower levels so there shouldn't be anyone directly behind me don't know what i'm wearing yet i know what i want to do with my hair I want to do my cute little braids because I feel like it's just a reliable hairstyle. It's kind of cute. It looks like you put a little effort in. And also it will help with my hair staying out of my face. So we're just going to try to part this as best as we can. And just a little disclaimer. I don't have, well, I do occasionally get dandruff. But right now my forehead is currently peeling from sunburn. Oh my God, my shoulders yeah so that's what's happening right now so i thought i was being smart one day and i had my hair braided so it kind of my scalp kind of got burnt like along the edges as well i need to like get to this concert and make sure that the jonas brothers are actually going to perform because guys today i was at the gym just on the treadmill and you know i was just checking my phone like just going on social media whatever and i log on to facebook and i <laughs> literally the and I'm not making fun of this at all, the situation. But the headline is like, Sophie, I almost said Sophie Jonas, <laughs> Sophie Turner is suing Joe Jonas. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this, but oh my god, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for today because I'm like, you know, now that she's suing him, this is getting messy. I said this the other day, I think when I was getting ready, because I was talking about them for some reason. I think I was just talking about it because of the divorce. And I'm getting nervous though, because I wouldn't blame them if they canceled the tour. Trust me, if I was going through a divorce, unless this divorce, like I was happy about and I was, you know, doing fine mentally, then okay. But like, I'm sure it's obviously very stressful and there's kids involved as well. Yeah, I wouldn't blame them if, you know, Joe probably needs some time to himself mentally, physically, emotionally. But I'm like, wait, <laughs> wait. You guys can cancel the tour tomorrow, please. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but it's kind of hard right now. Like, Joe, uh, if you guys have watched any of my videos, you guys know I am a Joe girl. But, oh my god, just the tweets today about Joe, like, they were just so mean and, like, everyone's hating on him. I guess I'll talk while I do this because I my makeup probably won't take too long. 
like I said, I got the tickets yesterday morning and I decided, you know, once again, this happened with the Broadway show too. I talked about this on TikTok that, you know, I want to get new pants or something <laughs> for this outfit or just for an outfit. So I head up to Target and I don't really know what I was going for. I had bought two of the graphic merch tees that they were selling. You know what I'm actually gonna do? Hold on a second, let's see if this will work. I don't like this space here. So is this, I don't care how crazy this makes me look. Okay, literally I fixed it. That's my hack of today. If you have any like, I'm not saying to go and color your whole head, but if maybe there's like a little spot that's kind of like looking bald or whatever, just color it in with a brow pencil. I've done it before. Like I might even do it right now too with the scalp. So that it makes it somewhat more even. But anyways, yeah, so I run up to Target and before I had gone up there, I looked on their app to see like what kind of pants they had. I had found a couple that I liked that I thought would look cute with the graphic tees. I only got one pair of pants in the end because I couldn't find a couple of the ones that they said they had in store. And then I tried on another pair, but they were like a cute little leather one. They were just fitting kind of low rise and I wanted high rise ones. So I ended up getting these other ones that I'm debating on keeping. I think they were like $30, which isn't too bad. I don't know if I'm ever really going to wear them. Like, I think they would be cute for a little fall outfit. I don't know. You know how sometimes you be making up outfits in your head and then you actually try on the outfit and you're like, yeah, okay, I don't know what I was thinking. That's pretty much what happened with this whole idea. I thought I could make it kind of look like a little chic, sleek, cute fit. I did get new boots though that I... I'm gonna wear but it just sucks because this target trip like it was just a waste of time in the end because <laughs> I'm not even gonna wear the pants but okay we got the hair kind of going here I'm just gonna fill in so I'm letting my phone charge I used to bring a camera to Jonas Brother concerts when I was younger because I wanted to like film the whole concert and take 500 pictures which I did like I have li <laughs> I literally have Jonas Brother photo albums of just pictures from concerts like on the burning up tour i wanted to kind of tell a funny story i don't know if i ever told it on here and i feel like it's fitting to talk about because it happened at a jonas brother concert years ago i was probably like 10 i had brought my camera with me and i wanted to charge it so they had like outlets around this place it was outdoors and they were doing like kind of green screen photo shoot things where you could pay to take a picture and then they would like i think probably photoshop the jonas brothers in there with the picture and this was like the concert venue or whatever doing this it wasn't just like some random person so i didn't know that or i just wasn't paying attention that you know these people are plugged into the outlets i feel like i did tell this story but it's just funny so here i go trying to fit I think I still have the same camera and the charger. This charger is for a Sony camera. You put your camera battery in here and then you plug this into an outlet. So obviously it's bulky. And these little outlet boxes were pretty small. So I was like trying to squeeze this thing in there every which way possible. And I did eventually. However, as I did that, I guess I blew a breaker or I tripped the breaker or whatever that is connected to all these outlets. So everyone that was getting power source from these outlets got knocked out. And the main people that were doing it were the photo shoot people. And they were so confused because they're like, oh my God, what happened? We just lost all of our stuff and everything. And then I'm realizing that I am the drama. And then like I go by my mom and I'm like, oh my God. So then we made sure to like, you know, get away from that so that people wouldn't realize that I was the one that did that. So my mom always jokes that like, I could have shut down the Jonas Brother concert because in all seriousness, if that power was connected to like the stage or whatever, people would have been so confused on like how to fix that. So I don't know if they ever got the stuff back up. Yeah, sorry, that was me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna wear these little hoops. Got the hair drying and I think the makeup is done. I might put a little highlighter in the inner corner. All right guys, so here is gonna be the final look. The top I got off of the Jonas Brother website a couple months ago. Skirt, Forever 21. The bag is Primark. And then I'm going to do these boots that I just got from Target last night. 
and yeah i tied the shirt in the back I'm so excited i'm gonna take some pictures because it's like 2 20 so i have about like a half hour and i'm just gonna fix the hair a little bit because it's starting to dry and get too frizzy sort of yeah we are off we've made it to wells fargo 